Hello and welcome. I'm Jeff Zarnett. I'm a lecturer at the University of Waterloo in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, and this is ECE 459, Programming for Performance. The course's undergraduate calendar description is Profiling Computer Systems, Bottlenecks, Amdahl's Law, Concurrency, Threads and Locks, Techniques for Programming Multicore Processors, Cache Consistency, Transactional Memory, Streaming Architectures, Vectorization and SIMD, High Performance Programming Languages. The course has certain prerequisites, uh, but typically we waive them. Uh, people who uh, want to take the course frequently have either those prerequisites or they have something vaguely equivalent to it, uh, either from a different program or from co-op or similar uh, experience, in which case, yep, uh, by all means, you know, take the course. The uh, formality of the uh, override is something we don't mind giving. With that said, uh, we will still assume that you are reasonably experienced in programming and have a good background in that area. This course is going to be in Rust. We expect that Rust will be new to most, if not all of you. Uh, and we are going to spend some time telling you about important features of the language. Uh, and in spite of that, it will be a new language and that will provide some challenges along the way. So just keep that in mind. This is normal. This is expected uh, and that it's not a full course on Learn Rust. Uh, but we're going to have to learn it in service of the goals that we are actually uh, focused on in this course. Uh, incidentally, uh, a lot of what we talk about here builds on previous material on the subject of concurrency. If you didn't take a previous course on it, I can recommend my second year course. This is ECE 252, Systems Programming and Concurrency, uh, as a way of getting caught up. Uh, there are notes and slides as well as videos for that course that are available. The notes and slides for this current course, as well as the previous one, are in GitHub and videos on YouTube, but you knew that, you found them, you're here. Uh, and uh, in the current term, there will also be some things that are in Learn, as well as a discussion forum as needed. There's no course textbook, although there are a few resources that are referenced in the notes, some of which are books, that might be worth looking into. This course is mostly based on assignments, and there are four assignments. There will also be a final assessment, which in an online term is a take-home exam. Uh, there are more details about the specifics of the term in which you're watching this uh, when you look in the course syllabus. Because that changes from term to term, I won't go over it here, but please do be sure that you read it. To tell you briefly uh, a bit about myself, I graduated from the computer engineering program at Waterloo under a previous curriculum, and have since earned my master's degree, also at Waterloo, and my PNG license. For the last more than seven years, uh, I've been working and uh, teaching here at the university, uh, and other courses I've taught and worked on include EC150, EC155, EC252, EC254, ECE290, ECE356, and MTE241. So those are all software courses, except the one about law and ethics. Some of those courses are retired now, so uh, if those numbers don't seem familiar to you, that may be why. Uh, in addition to being your instructor, I also work full-time in software engineering in industry. Uh, this would normally mean in a regular term that hanging around my office is an inefficient way to uh, get in touch with me. Less of a concern at present. Uh, but the uh, best way to get your questions answered is via the discussion forum. I think that is better than email because then others could benefit from the answer to your question, particularly because if you're wondering about this subject, you're probably not the only one. Whether it is, oh, can you tell me more about this rust detail, or I don't understand why this doesn't work, uh, or just something general like you know, the assignment needs some clarification. Other people would really benefit from that, so it's helpful if you use the discussion forum. Uh, there is also the possibility uh, of asking questions at office hours, which uh, I will try to hold on a regular basis. So thank you very much, uh, and I wish you a successful term.